Malaria is a life-threatening disease that claims the lives of more than 600,000 people each year. Access to accurate and timely diagnosis is critical to preventing a malaria infection from progressing to severe illness and death. For prompt diagnosis of malaria, WHO recommends quality assured microscopy or antigen detection rapid diagnostic tests, particularly in areas where microscopy services are not readily available. Rapid diagnostic tests, or RDTs, are designed to detect proteins, or what we call antigens, in a person's blood. The results are available in just 15 to 30 minutes. Because they are user-friendly, accurate and affordable, RDTs have been taken up in a remarkable way over the last 15 years, improving the clinical care of millions of people with symptoms of malaria and helping to save lives. In addition, they have greatly increased our knowledge of where malaria is most prevalent at a given moment and over time. This allows national malaria control programs to optimally target their interventions to control the disease. In the case of Plasmodium falciparum, the deadliest malaria parasite globally, RDTs are normally designed to target an antigen called histidine-rich protein 2, or HRP2, in a patient's blood, either alone or in combination with other antigens. In recent years, mutations have been identified in a growing number of cases, where PF parasites are completely missing the gene encoding for HRP2. Therefore, the antigen is no longer produced and cannot be detected in a person's blood. This allows the parasites to evade detection by HRP2 RDTs. This missing gene, or gene deletion, can cause false negative RDT results. In Peru, back in 2008, investigators found a number of patient samples that were negative on the HRP2 RDT, but positive by blood film microscopy. The parasites that were returning the negative RDT results were actually missing the gene that encodes this protein. Deletions of the HRP2 gene have now been reported in 37 countries, mainly in South America and Africa. In some countries across the Horn of Africa, surveys have found that HRP2-based RDTs may miss up to as many as 60 to 80% of P. falciparum malaria cases. This puts millions of people at increased risk of delayed diagnosis or misdiagnosis, illness and potentially death, and can cause epidemics. The only way to get ahead of this is through establishing regular surveillance and through investigating suspicious reports or complaints that come from the field. Responses need to be tailored to the local context. WHO has produced a number of resources to support countries in addressing the issue of HRP2 deletions. This includes guidance on how and when to investigate suspected HRP2 deletions and an extensive network of reference laboratories that can assist countries with the complex molecular analysis that this problem demands. WHO recommends that once 5% or more of PF cases are being missed due to HRP2 deletions, it's time to switch to an RDT that relies on alternative antigens to detect the P. falciparum malaria parasite. WHO has also been tracking published reports of HRP2 deletions and posting them on the Malaria Threats Map platform. This data can help to inform where surveillance activities are being conducted, identify what areas should be prioritized, and contribute to the global picture of how this threat is evolving over time. While non-HRP2 test options are limited, they do exist, and there are more in the research and development pipeline. Investing resources towards this will help make this a problem of the past. It's only through cooperation and action at each level of the health system that we can identify this problem early and intervene so as to minimize the negative effects. 